Welcome to this tutorial about alternative scene sets in Motiva Layama. In this case, we will use 3ds Max, but the workflow will be valid for other platforms too, since most of the work will be made in Layama application itself. We have this scene that contains a small living room and a kitchen. Following the tips from other tutorials, we have placed the cameras and everything is ready to be rendered correctly. The image we get after doing a regular render will look something like this. We don't need to change anything from this mode of alternative scene sets in Layama from the usual workflow. We'll just open the Layama panel. We will add all the cameras. In this case, I will add all of them. And I will configure the other settings. Everything has been already covered in previous tutorials. I select prepare a scene for render because I want to render several different scenes in queue. In any case, even if I use the full render method, I should not open the Layama panel. If it opens by itself, we will simply ignore it. Generating variations is very simple. In this case, I just changed some materials like the wall, the carpet in the living room, and so on. But now we will see the key. We will need the same cameras in the same position in all the scenes. How we can achieve this? In this case, it has been very simple because first I have made the other scene complete. I have put lights, cameras, and so on. And from that scene, I have generated this one. Another option would have been to do the scenes in parallel. Place the cameras in one and merge them by using file merge. This particular scene would look something like this. We will repeat the process again. We go to the Layama panel, add the cameras, and as we see, they are exactly the same as before. We can ignore which one is the default and we will launch the process again, in this case with prepare a scene for render. I thought this wouldn't be at all necessary, I have made an export of the first scene. Clicking on check exported web, we can check how it looks like. We can move the camera and everything seems to be ok, but the question is how we can add a new alternative? We can close the built-in browser and click on the alternative scenes button. We will add a new project. By default, it comes with a series of parameters configured as the icon, the name, and so on. It also tells us if it is valid or invalid. As we have not yet defined it, it indicates that it is invalid. Now I will select, using the file button, the new configuration. I mean, the one that contains the modified materials. It has checked it, and it says that it's valid. And there are 12 matching cameras. I can close here and export the web again to see what happens. I click again in Check Export Web. We can move around perfectly, click everywhere, and so on. But now we have a button on the top part of the viewport. When I click it, I switch between the variations. Notice that the wall texture changes and the glass ceramic turns on and off. The same happens in the other side of the scene, we switch between the two settings we have configured in 3ds Max. The workflow is identical in other platforms like Blender or Unreal. Let's make it a bit more interesting by adding a third option. As you can see in this case, most of the changes have been related to lighting. Remember that we can change lights and materials, but not geometry. We will return to the same button to add this new alternative to the list of available alternatives. We will select the path again and select the new scenario. I will take this opportunity to organize it a little bit and change its name. In addition, although the default icon can be used for any situation, we will show how to use custom icons for each alternative. I will click on the general icon, which is the initial icon and select this one, since we have some blue colors on the scene. They are custom images with a maximum size of 64 by 64 pixels. I will also give another icon to this one. It has some dark colors, so it will fit well. And finally, to the nightly alternative, I will give the moon icon. Everything is configured correctly, so I will close and export the web again. 
Let's see the final result. It seems to be alright. When it moves, it does as we expected. We already have this blue icon because we selected it for the minus scene as it fits well with the color of the world. Clicking on it, we will go to the next variation, which is the gray tones scene. And if I click again, we will see the night variation. As you can see, this iterates over all the scenes we have already loaded. In this case, we have used three variations, but you can use as many as you want. Now we can check that everything is working correctly from any angle. And as always, it is ready to be sent to your client quickly and without the need for any third-party services. Thank you for your time.